So hello and welcome to another class of the ABM Universe Sciences. This is Avisek with you. So today I'll be talking about protein synthesis. Now, protein synthesis is an important part of central dogma process that we all know. So it uh, bears some of the stages. If you divide the protein synthesis, you will see some of the stages which comprises the protein synthesis process. So let's see first the stages. What are the stages? So the stages are first stage is activation of amino acids activation of amino acids so first the amino acids which is going to be incorporated in the polypeptide or the protein it has to be activated now I'll go in detail in different parts of the uh, my classes from um, now on but first stage is the activation of amino acids next one is the initiation so initiation of protein synthesis so everything has an initiation right you know that the everything has to initiate then uh, it is a middle phase then this is a last phase or that is called termination so the next step is elongation and termination last one termination of protein synthesis yes so one or another different proteins comprises of different uh, amino acids or the size of the amino acids or the number of amino acids differ from one protein to another protein as well as their function also so that's why they need to terminate at a uh, specific place or a specific codons so that is called termination now in each class i cannot go in all the uh, stages it will be too much longer classes so first i'll go for the activation of amino acids in detail so make you uh, understandable the situation is so first we will consider the activation of amino acids now to prepare a amino acid for incorporating in a protein it needs some of the enzymes uh, and ATPs to activate it so the enzymes which is highly essential is first one is the amino acyl tRNA Synthetase. This is the first requirement for activation of amino acids. Now, second one obviously is the cognate tRNA. And the third and very much obvious that is ATP. So these three things are highly essential for activation of amino acids. Now this first one that is amino acyl tRNA synthetase, this enzyme is very specific to its amino acid. So the amino acid it is going to activate it is highly specific to that particular amino acid or the where it will be attached to the tRNA okay now we know that one tRNA can attach to two one or two more amino acids but this specific enzyme is specific for particular amino acid and that is a one type of filter now after attaching the particular amino acid with the particular uh, synthesis enzymes it will go for the activation or it will go for the attachment of the particular amino acyl AMP to the tRNA so I will write an equation or a flowchart that will make you easily understandable so first one amino acid plus ATP see it will generate amino acyl AMP 
okay now 2 ppi will be leaving from this place and the amino acid is activated in the where that is the 3 prime region or 3 prime group it is not region actually group so this amino acid amp can go in two ways how and why two ways because the enzyme i have written here that is amino acid t and a synthetase it is of two classes class 1 and class 2 so amino acyl tRNA synthetase two classes class 1 and class 2 so what is the difference actually they incorporate or they attach the amino acyl AMP that is amino acid to the 2 prime hydroxyl of the CCA that is attached to tRNA. So I will tell you we know that uh, tRNA structure so I will draw one tRNA structure. So here we know what is present CCA. So this is the terminal residues present in the tRNA. Now this amino acid which is activated which is primarily activated by ATP incorporation is now this adenine residues will be utilized to attach this particular amino acid. But the position where it is going to attach that is 2 prime hydroxyl and here it is the difference so if you see here the same thing the a c c and this is the tRNA I'm not drawing it again so here it is 3 prime hydroxyl that is amino acids to be joined Okay, so you know the difference now that is class 1 and class 2 which is using that particular enzyme amino acid tRNA synthetase belongs to two classes class 1 and class 2. Class 1 attaches the amino acid which is going to be uh, attached to the tRNA with the adenylate residues in 2 prime hydroxyl group and the next one that is class 2 amino acid tRNA synthetase which is attaching the amino acid to the 3 prime hydroxyl group and that group is divided. Now your tRNA is activated or also attached with a particular amino acids which is now going to the particular protein synthesis or the uh, polypeptide synthesis process. Now here the activation now it is called now if your tRNA is particularly activated with the amino acid now you can call the activation is complete. But behind the scenes, there are several things you should know or you would have to know that is the fidelity of protein synthesis. So what is the error rate of protein synthesis? How it is controlled? Where it is controlled? Because during protein synthesis, tRNAs are not checked whether it is attached to the proper amino acid or not. That ribosomes do not check. So where it is going to check? The there are three things, three filters are used during activation of amino acids and these three filters, uh, they, uh, they reduce the chances of uh, producing this error and the error rate is around 1 to 10 to the power 4 amino acids activated. So the error rate is not quite uh, high I will say but not quite low also so this is the error rate but what are the three filters now I will tell you the three filters which are used uh, and I also I will tell you about the second genetic code so be tuned
So the first filter is when the um, enzyme that is amino acid DNA synthetases, they actually the amino acid bound to amino acid binds to synthetase. Okay, I'm not writing the full form, it is taking too much time. Amino acid DNA synthetases enzyme that time if an enzyme is bound to the and that is actually the first amino acid has to be attached to the particular activation site so we know if you study the enzyme chapter you will see that enzymes have a particular activation site or active sites they are the substrate bind so here the substrate is the amino acid and that amino acid is particularly bound to bind the actual or the uh, what I say designated uh, active site activation site so this is the first filter that the amino acid has to bind the designated activation site now the second filter is if an amino acid bounds to a second active site it will be what will happen it will be readily hydrolyzed so it has the capability to recognize whether the particular amino acid is binding to the particular activation site if it is not bound or second site then it will hydrolyze and the not and uh, the third one is the what is the filter that if the trna which is uh, designated for the particular amino acid is not bound to the or the tRNA uh, the amino acid mismatch is there that time it can break the ester linkage between tRNA and amino acid so the enzyme has the capability to bind and to break I means actually it is helping to attaching the amino acid to the particular tRNA as well as it is uh, a capable of breaking the bond which is actually bounding the CCA that is tRNA CCA adenylate to the particular amino acid so it can work both the way in maintaining the fidelity or the filters by which the amino acid activation is going on so this one is done by the enzyme that is tRNA synthetase enzymes amino acid tRNA synthetases enzymes now i'll tell you about the second genetic code first one you know that the genetic code which is present uh, and the anticodon and codons bound together to form the body synthesis or to code for the amino acid now i'll tell you about the second genetic code which is has a huge role in this activation of uh, amino acids now what is second genetic code the second genetic code again concerns with the enzyme and the trna that is amino acyl trna synthetase enzyme so why it is uh, second genetic code, I will tell you the background about that. That I have already told you that this enzyme is highly specific to the particular amino acid. This each amino acid it has its amino acyl tRNA synthetase, means which enzyme is going to activate this and getting them attached to the particular designated tRNAs. Now it has to be specific not only for a single amino acid but also one or two one or two TRNAs why I'm saying this one or two TRNAs because as I told that amino acid a particular amino acid can be bound by more than one or two trnas 
See, so one or two TRNAs can recognize a single amino acid. So that's why it has two or three carriers. Now this enzyme not only is specific for the single amino acid which is going to be activated and attach, make them attached, and but also it has to be specific and recognize the one or two that is other tRNAs which is recognizing the same amino acid. So it will not make a mistake during attaching the amino acid to any other tRNA which is not bound to bound the uh, particular amino acid. So I think it's a bit confusing but don't confuse it. What I am trying to say is that the particular tRNA, suppose three tRNAs, suppose example, I will give you example, suppose three tRNAs recognize valine, okay. So now this enzyme, this synthetase enzyme has to be specific, is very specific, particular enzyme is specific for valine, not only for valine but also for the three tRNAs which is going to bound the valine, that I am trying to say. So I hope now it's clear. So this is called the second genetic code between the enzyme plus the tRNA. So the enzyme plus tRNA and the specific binding is called the second genetic code of the central dogma process. So up to this is the activation of amino acids and how protein synthesis initial step itself is how it is so specific and reducing the numbers of errors during the activation step. Now we will go for the next class or next step that is initiation of protein synthesis. So if you like my classes give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel because these things stimulate me to take futuristic classes for you guys. So thank you and be with me.